In this video, we will learn to create the infinite scroll effect which means when the app user reach the end of the list view, it will auto fetch the next content until we reach to the end, where it has no more data to show. So to get started, add the HTTP package as a dependency. And for the demonstration purposes, I am using the Unsplash API for which I have created a developer account. But feel free to use any other API that support pagination. Now in the main.dart file, we have a material lab with a home screen widget, which itself is a stateful widget with just an app bar. So firstly here, we are going to create an images list variable, then add a page variable to keep track of the pagination, then create a function called get images. Inside it, we will make a HTTP get request to the unsplash API. Now here, please note that I have added the page parameter with its value equal to our page variable. Then we will decode the response body which will give us this object. Now if you are too using the unsplash API, then in this huge object we are only interested in the URL's small key value which contains the URL for the image. Then in the for loop, we will extract this small URL and then add it to our images list. And lastly, we will call the set state to re-render the UI. Now we will call this get image method from within the init state. And down here inside the body, we are going to add safe area, init add a list view dot separated, init add an item count equal to our images dot length, then add a separator builder which will return a size box of height 10 pixels. Then in the item builder, we will return an image dot network and as for the URL, we will pass the images list at a given index. And now when we hot restart, we can see the images. Here to make the UI a bit prettier, we will add a height of 300 pixels and a fade of box fade dot cover. And then restart the application. And when we reach the bottom of the list, there is no infinite scroll yet. Let's add it. So firstly, we will need to add a scroll controller. Then we will add a max length variable equal to 20, which is only for the testing purpose to demonstrate the end of the list when we load 20 images. Then we will create a is loading variable and set it to false and a has more variable which will be used to denote if the API has some more data to fetch or not. Then in the get images, first we will set the loading state to true. Then after everything is completed, we will set state to loading to false and increment the page by one which will indeed update this page parameter and hence will return the new set of images. And lastly, we will check that if the images.length has exceed the max length variable that we have just defined. And if so, then we will set the has more variable to false or else it will be true. And that's all for the get images method. Now inside the init state, we will initialize the scroll controller and then add a listener to it. In it we will check that if the controller's current position is greater than or equal to to the controller's max scroll extent into 0.95 and also if it's currently not loading the data. Then we will check that if the has more flag is true, if so then call the gate images. And then we will pass our controller to our list view and also don't forget to dispose your controller. And then we are gonna increment the item count by 1 if the has more flag is true in order to show a loading indicator. To show it, we will check that if the index is equal to the last index, which is this plus one, then we will show a circular progress indicator. Now here, please note that the main key factor in infinite scroll view is that we plus one the item count whenever we have more data to load in order to show this circular progress indicator at the end. Now when we hot restart, 10 images gets loaded, and when we reach at the bottom of the list, we see a scrolling indicator and under the hood, it fetches 10 more images. And now when we reach to the end of the list, we don't see any loading indicator as the max length is equal to 20, so our has more flag gets set to false, which means it is the end of the list as well as for the tutorial. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one.